We haven't watched a single professional video on how to do this. Um, so this is my first time doing this. I have no idea what I'm doing. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today we're doing a DIY tile table. I'm sure you've seen these tile tables all over Instagram. I'll include a couple of images and what I'm going for um, around my head. Um, and so yeah, what I have today is my Ikea desk table. Um, it's nothing really special. It's actually um, meant for a kid, but it's the only tile, you know, the only desk actually fits in my space. And I really wanted to tile it to give it a little bit more pizzazz. It's a bit boring right now. Uh, so this DIY is, you know, obviously inspired by those other brands that are doing the tile tables, but it's also inspired by another YouTuber, uh, Neens, on YouTube, who did a tile table for their desk. And so I'm kind of trying to replicate the, what they did. So if you want to watch a better tutorial, maybe click on theirs, but I'm basically going to try my best to replicate what they did. And so I went to Floor and Decor and I got my tiles. I got two sets of these. This is the festival tile. Um, and so it comes in like, um, like these look mesh like sets. Um, so I got uh, 20 of these. I measured everything on my table. I only need 16, so I most likely will be returning about four of them. Um, but yeah, so this all together, the two that I got was about 40 bucks. Uh, and then some other materials that I got was, of course, um, the grout. I got the black color. Um, they don't have as many different colors as that one brand that makes these tiles, but um, I really wanted to use a black and white kind of combination to kind of match my bedroom. So I got the black. And this is the unsanded. Uh, and this is one that you actually have to mix, which I'll show when it's time to do the grouting. And then I have the tile adhesive right here in this big tub. And that's kind of like the cement looking like blob of stuff that you put down and that's where you put the tiles on top. So I got this as well. I'll put the prices on the screen once I actually look at my receipt. Um, and then I have this, which is a trowel, which is going to help me spread out the adhesive on the tile or on the desk surface. I have a sponge to help clean once I lay the grout. So there she is. Um, I have a float, which is going to help me apply the grout. And then last but not least, I have a bucket. So this is where, like I mentioned before, I have to mix the grout. Um, so I want to pour the grouting mix in here. And I think you just add water. So this is for later on. Uh, but the first step is going to lay the tile. Okay, so um, we laid the first set of tiles. We didn't um, adhesive anything. We just kind of wanted to see um, how it was going to look and also just to do some extra measurements. So um, right now, this is one whole sheet right here um, and then another whole sheet. I do know that you could use spacers to kind of better... Um, define you know the distance between each tile as you can see this is one whole sheet and this is another whole sheet so you kind of have to do your best guess to kind of match the width that's in between these tiles to the distance in between two new sheets so you kind of have to do your best guessing um, and then what we found out was that um, when we're connecting it to the sides we kind of want to have about three let's focus there we go three sixteenths uh of an overhang so the next tile that comes on this side will be right under it right here um and again on this side um this is a whole sorry this is a whole new sheet and it's kind of um falling off the edge of this side of the table so what we're going to do is we're going to definitely cut cut the mesh right here and that way this set of tiles can definitely fit once we had adhesive it kind of like well, kind of like that sorry it's like focusing on my hand there we go I hope that kind of explains it a little bit more again this is my first time doing any sort of tiling so I hope it goes I'm just kind of winging it um, and kind of just using what I think would look best but 
this is the plan for right now. And of course, I'm gonna have to attack this area a little bit later. Of course, I can't adhesive anything here because it's just a gaping hole. Um, but yeah, so now we're going to start the adhesive process. So wish us luck. We haven't watched a single a professional video on how to do this. Um, so this is my first time doing this. I have no idea what I'm doing. I mean, I did watch that one video, but I have, it's like I did like, went into like the depths of YouTube to learn how to professionally do this. So I'm kind of just winging it. At least I have the tools for it. I know you have to scoop it out. Oh my God, I'm scared. Oh Mind you, my dad's a carpenter, so should, this should be in my blood. Um, carpenter slash handyman, so. I think I need to scoop out a lot of it. Oh my God, it's getting on the handle. Um, this is like, what is this? Uh, this looks like forbidden, um, this is like forbidden frosting or something like that. <laughs> so I think, oh my God. This is, this is gonna be rough, you guys. Um, No, this is spreading. for this is for raking. Okay, this looks this looks better. Should I call my dad? Do you think he'll give us some words of wisdom? Watch another tutorial, because um Please don't do what we're doing don't. right now. <laughs> by God, by all <laughs> Do I spread it? Yeah, that's okay. Okay. I should have got two of them so you can help me. Mm. Phone a friend. So oh, okay. Look at this. Okay. I think I'm onto something. The goal for me right now is to get a nice smooth layer and then use the little teeth to break it. Okay, so this is what I was able to get done on day one. Uh, I've decided to not finish today because I still have some schoolwork to do. Um, and it's taking a lot longer than I anticipated. But um, this is what I was able to get done. The top part, uh, I still have to go in once it kind of settles a little bit more and to kind of clear out the grout, I guess. No, this is not grout, this is the adhesive still. I found out that we put too much and it's kind of like when you try to push it down it kind of like comes up so 
I'm gonna have to let it dry and then like clear the tiles of the adhesive and also in between as well. But I also did the side and that went a lot smoother because I knew now not to put too much adhesive. Uh, and then also um, the back is, the back also is done. Um, so yeah, that's what it's looking right right now. It's definitely not perfect. As you can see, the tiles look hella crooked, um, but just doing my best. Um, and I think well, it's going to look better. You won't hopefully see as much of the imperfections once I put the grout in. Um, but yeah, I'm really just trying to go in and make sure that everything's flat before it dries. And that's definitely pushing up some of the adhesive. So definitely that's one of my first tips is definitely don't um, put too much adhesive. 3,000 years later. Okay, so it has been a bit since I filmed that last uh, little video bit. Um, so what's happened is the table is actually or actually took me a lot longer than I anticipated um, The cleaning process the grouting process and then cleaning up my mistakes was taking a lot longer than I expected Combined with you know work and then I also was hit with the final so that's the reason for the delay so um, the table is actually already done so um, I wasn't able to show you the actual grouting process, but trust me you can go on any video on YouTube and type in like how to grout tiles and you will find a more instructive video than what I actually did myself. Um, but I will share some tips with you about the grouting process. So once that, the last clip was basically talking about how I was, I laid the tile and how I was cleaning out the adhesive because I added too much. So I did that and then I went in and mixed up my grout. So I followed the instructions on the package of the grout. Um, however, I decided to be cheap and buy the one where you had to mix yourself. But the instructions suggested that I actually use a blender of some sort to kind of mix it. Um, so that was one thing that was a bit difficult for me. I had to actually hand mix the grout and it's very, very thick. Um, so I definitely recommend if you're able to spare the extra like $30 or so, I do recommend getting the pre-mixed grout. Um, it'll just save you a lot more time as well. So after I mixed the grout, I followed the video, but also I was also looking at the instructions on the back of the package, which maybe I'll put um, around me or put up on the screen somehow. But basically it was saying you mix it, um, you uh, take some out with your float and you, you know, smooth your float over the tiles um, just enough so that I can get in all the grooves and then you wipe the excess off with your float. And then you're supposed to wait 15 minutes. That's what the package said. Wait 15 minutes and then go back in with the sponge, um, the sponge that I showed you, the sponge with water, and then wipe away all the excess grout. Um, because the grout itself, it's obviously grainy, um, and so once it dries, it can kind of adhere to the tile itself, and it kind of makes the cleaning process a lot harder. Um, so that's the reason why um, they want you to wipe it with a wet, a wet sponge. Anyhow, the instructions kind of failed me. Uh, I waited 15 minutes, but I guess I didn't remove enough excess grout. Um, so the whole table was just like covered in like hardened like grout and I had to physically go and scrape it off and make sure that my lines were nice and parallel and clean and it didn't look a hot mess because trust me, it looked a hot mess. So I definitely recommend uh, the method that I recommend now knowing more about grouting is to mix your grout, apply the grout um, with your float, um, wipe away the excess with your float, and then immediately go with your sponge, um, with a, a, a wet ring sponge, and then wipe away some of the excess. Um, so don't wait 15 minutes. Um, I don't know why the package said that, um, but immediately go in with like a wet ring sponge and kind of wipe away the excess so it doesn't dry on you and you don't get you don't have to go back and like chisel away <laughs> for hours and days on end to make it look somewhat presentable. Um, some other tips that I also found out was that the grout, as I'll show you in the finished portion, is that it didn't really come out like a perfect 
um, like black. It kind of came out a bit gray. And I think that also had to do with the mixing method that I use, which is hand mixing, which is not really what you're supposed to be doing. So I feel as if I wasn't able to really fully mix the pigment in completely. Um, so that's something that I would definitely not do in the future. I wouldn't recommend for you. That's why I also recommend getting the pre-mixed grout, especially if you don't have a mixer for grout or whatever that is. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really happy how it turned out. It's definitely not perfect, but I think um, it looks pretty good how it is. I'm really proud of it. I think it looks great. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the finished product. <laughs> And here she is. Okay, sorry, I have to show you my uh, first, my Georgia O'Keeffe print that I got at the Salvation Army. Okay, anyway, next. Uh, here it is right below, or right above, the finished table. Woo! <laughs> I'm really proud of how it turned out. From afar, it doesn't look too bad. You can't really see all the imperfections, but overall, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, I think it's also a really good Ikea hack. Um, I'll list below the type of Ikea table I bought for this table. But overall, I think it looks really great. Ignore the wires and stuff down below, but um, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, as you can see what I was talking about um, with the grout color, it's a little bit, I guess it's showing a little bit darker on camera, but it's actually pretty like a dark gray. Yeah, that's kind of more accurate representation um, a dark gray color um, but overall from Fafar you can't really tell and I think it looks super good I'm really proud of um, how it turned out and yeah um, so for all those tile tablers and tile uh, what's I gotta know what's the actual term for someone who applies tile but um, they deserve all the money all because this was a lot of work and this is really hard to do so um, I definitely recommend it um, but just prepare for some really hard work ahead and this is how it looks and I'm super happy Are you filming already? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, hi guys, so thanks for tuning in to today's video. I hope you enjoyed um, the DIY tile table. Um, again, I'll link everything that I used down in the description box below. And I really loved how it turned out. I hope it inspires you to do a bit of a DIY project this new year. Um, again, my name is Amira and this is Meerkat95. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Um, I plan to return to my normal schedule of posting a video every Thursday. Um, and I plan to have a, maybe a winter thrift haul for my next video. So we definitely want, don't want to miss that one. So thank you so much. Happy New Year. I hope you guys are doing great and take care. Bye.